Um, with our game plan that we have in, we, we feel like we can get them moving and we can do a lot of things there. Um, I feel real comfortable with uh, what we got in and what we've been practicing, so uh, we'll just show on Saturday. And yeah, when you're, you feel really comfortable about that, but what things in particular you feel like are some areas that maybe you feel like you guys have really excelled at and maybe some potential strong suits this week? Um, I gotta say, uh, the scheme. Uh, We've got a lot of good reads, you can tell uh, a lot about defenses. So uh, just looking forward to just looking forward to giving him something that he hasn't seen. And just going back to UCLA too for a moment, you guys had a lot of third and short, fourth and short stops, really crucial plays in the game, and you yourself got in a few of those. Uh -huh. What were just like, can you kind of go back to that moment and kind of recall like, what was happening? Like, what were the emotions you felt like on those plays? Because those ended up being game saving plays. I mean, honestly, we just looked at each other on the field, and we all had one goal, and that was they did not get past, they did not get a yard, uh, which was literally the, uh, the down and distance. So. Uh, but we looked at each other and we had that grit and there was that, that moment where uh, you can feel everybody's heart and they're about to just sell out for everything uh, in that moment. And uh, the results showed that they, you know, we all sold out, we got to stop. And, you know, it was one of those things where as a defense you feel good about this thing. Do you feel like that's something that you guys have been continuously building towards? Because that sounds like a play like that and something like that's one almost in the preseason when you go to practice like rather something that happened week. So do you feel like that was kind of the moment everybody in the defense was building toward collectively? I'd say we definitely um, Yeah. I'd say collectively that's something that we've instilled. Um, and obviously Playing defense, we want to fight for every single yard that we can uh, fight for. So we have to try and fight and defend everything that we can. Uh, and that was that mentality going in. Appreciate it, Trey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Trey. So kind of going back to that UCLA game, what was it like, you know, for you to kind of somewhat be home? I know Cassidy ain't the IE, but, yeah. you know, it's close enough. And what was it like kind of playing for you in that environment? Uh, it was cool. Honestly, I, I've never played in Pasadena. Um, it was a really good experience. I uh, got to saw my great great uncles a uh, number of, a number up there at 42. So that was that was a, an experience that I will never forget. You know, that's an experience I always cherish, and it was fun uh, to be there, even with my family being there and cheering on, and I'm seeing them in the crowd. That was just something fun. What was the energy like? Um, you know, seeing your family up there, but also those big stops. You know, what was what was just what was the night like for you guys? And even after, and you know. Um, you know, just celebrating with your teammates after, you know, not being held winless or, or not being held without a win on the road? Uh, well, it was it was great, honestly. That that feeling, that feeling when you can look at your brothers and you know you sought out every single play and you gave it your all every single play and you went through the physical and the mental preparation to get to that point, man, it feels good. And, and that celebration with your brothers in the locker room, that just shows that, that camaraderie, that I got your back, you got my back, and that was something that uh, that was something that is built over time and is getting stronger and stronger. So. Coach Dillingham kind of said that he knows kind of the you know the groups of friends and kind of you know how you guys kind of hang out with each other as a team, but that after that game there was just a, a just whole camaraderie between the team. Is that something that you felt too? And did you find yourself maybe celebrating with the specialists or or, so, or with the line or the running backs? Or oh something? man, we all celebrated together, honestly. Uh, Obviously, we all have our different position groups and stuff like that, but even during the game, you could see us, as soon as defense goes on the field, offense is shaking our hands. Or as soon as uh, offense comes on the field, defense is shaking the offense hands. And that's just something that we've been instilling and building throughout the season, too. Uh, so it feels good when you have two sides of the ball that are you know, supporting each other to the max. And, uh, with that type of uh, camaraderie, it, 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 was, it was great. So moving kind of towards UCLA, what are some of the things that you guys have been working on this week in terms of just maybe something that you saw last week that you got to fix or something that you got you guys have had to institute a little bit more? Um, they had a couple of different formations that uh, we, we game planned for um, versus UCLA, and it was, uh, as you see, the results show. Um, so we game planned against some of their, their new formations. Um, Oregon does a lot of different uh, formations and a lot of different things, but all still pretty much, you know, some, some of the same concepts. So it's, 
pretty much the same process for game plan. You guys have played a lot of good offensive teams, whether it's be Washington, USC, with a lot of skilled receivers, and you guys have had to drop into coverage multiple times. What is the challenge this week, dropping into coverage, where Bo Nix is, is notorious for just finding those soft spots, and, and especially zone coverages, mm -hmm. whether that be single high or double high? Um, I'd say just making sure we're executing. You know, uh, what the formation tells it all. Uh, I sell it all. So we'll, we'll, we obviously have a game plan for, obviously, the concept, the concepts and the schemes that they have, so. Um, but yeah, it's just executing on everything that our you know, coach calls. Well, uh, they run a lot of you know bunch sets, and they lot of run, run a lot of stuff where you know they have an off you know offset tight end or you know wing back. You know what kind of challenges do those face in terms of you guys just people coming across the middle and kind of you know staying disciplined as a linebacker and kind of that second level. I'd say just staying disciplined. You know, read the front, uh, read the foundation of what uh, the offense is giving you, and just being disciplined with your eyes. Oregon has done a great job running the football and what something that they do very well is kind of like some sort of you know power look or outside zone where they will you know bring kind of a, a, a guard pulling and stuff which is something that you guys faced against USC quite a bit um, what is the gap assignment like this week and, and you know expand on that disciplinary actions that you guys have to take this week like I say it goes back to just keying the foundation and seeing everything in front of you making sure your eyes are on uh, your keys and playing ball from there.